video about creating and implementing a background service in Blazor. What is a background service? It is a type that does predefined tasks during intervals. We have two options to create such a service. We can either extend the abstract class background service or we can implement the interface I hosted service. I will choose the first option. Therefore, I create a new class. I call it timer service because the goal of this background service is to give the current time to the components. So first I have to implement the namespace, then I have to implement the abstract class. If we would have implemented the interface, we would have to implement two methods. The first one would be start async and the second one stop async. If we do it with the abstract class, we only have to uh, yeah, define one method. Now, here we are getting a cancellation token. So I create a while loop and this loop is running until the cancellation token tells us that the task has to be cancelled. Now, what are we doing here? I mentioned that we are going to create a timer service. The timer service does its work every second. So, I just delay it here. Because I want to use a wait, I have to mark the method as a asynchronous. So, now here we want to do something. I mentioned that the timer service is here to be consumed by our components. So I have to define an event. Uh, this event is static. And the event type is of function. It takes a date time as a parameter and returns a task. I call it update event. The components or subscribers will subscribe to that event. And because it returns a task, we can await it too. So await update event. Here I use the Elvis operator to check if it's uh, not null. Now it takes the date time as input. I give it the current date time. So that's it for our background service. Now well, first of all, I have to register it here for the dependency in injection at worker service. Uh, what is it called? Ah, uh, no, at hosted service. At hosted service. Uh, timer service so if we wouldn't register our service here it uh, would never start so now i have to subscribe to the service in this component i just define a field with the time now I override the initialize method because the update event is uh, static. We can just use it on the class and not on a concrete instance. So now I have defined the update in a way, update event in a way that it re returns a task. So if we Um, use the async keyword here, every, uh, it's automatically going to return a task. It's the same thing in an asynchronous method. Now, the input parameter is of type uh, daytime. So here's the, here's that. Now, because the background service runs on a background thread, I have to call uh, invoke async 
in order to change the UI thread, invoke async is going to take an action as, a, as an argument. Now, what are we going to do in this action? Here I've defined the, the time. I am going to set this time using the, in, the, yeah, the parameter here. And in order to see the UI change, I have to call status change because this is uh, run on a background thread. So now we can use the time here. But to enhance the example a bit more, we will not only change the time, we will also change the appearance. So I define uh, another string, which we are going to use for the UI. I make an inline styling. Oh no, I don't need razor syntax for that. Background color is style. So, and now we are going to change the style too. How are we going to do that? So for that, I am using the ternary operator, style equals style, question mark. Ah, no. Mm. Okay, uh, what is this uh, line of code doing? First, it's going to assign the value here on the right hand side to the style. I'm going to ask, is the current style equal Dodger Blue? If that's right, we are going to change the, the style and it's, it is light coral. If it's not Dodger Blue, so it is light coral, we are going to change the style so that it's Dodger Blue. So I think it should work now. Let's see. Okay, we see that the UI is changing, but because I I don't have the, the seconds included in the, in the time string. We have to, to optimize that. I have called too long date string. I think if I change that too long time string, it will display the, the seconds or at least the minutes. Okay, now we also have the seconds here. Thank, thank you very much for watching.